He's lost a finger. A stunning blow for Giants star Jason Pierre-Paul. His career now in serious jeopardy. Talk about fireworks on the ground. Pierre-Paul celebrated the 4th of July with a U-Haul truck full of fireworks. But something we, went horribly we, wrong. We, ESPN has we, now obtained Pierre-Paul's medical records showing amputation of right index finger. He had a ray resection procedure, meaning his entire finger was amputated, including the knuckle. This is what his hand will look like when he recovers. His right thumb is also fractured in several places. Now the big question, can the star defensive end still play without an index finger? Michael Strahan, himself a former Giants star, expressed doubt this morning. But you need your hand, that is your business. And I'm having a finger amputated, I think you could play without the finger, but it's the sensitivity of your hand because there's never a play in that position that you don't need your hand. You don't need all your fingers to catch a ball. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Andrew Feldman says Pierre Paul's injuries will probably heal in about six weeks. The silver lining in all of this is the fact that if you do lose a finger, the best finger to lose is your index finger. And the reason for that is because you can still uh, grip very well with uh, the other three fingers compensating. And can you believe this? Another NFL player, Tampa Bay Buccaneers cornerback C.J. Wilson, lost two fingers in a separate July 4th fireworks mishap. More and more people are taking chances with fireworks. YouTube is filled with videos of a dangerous phenomenon, Roman candle battles. This guy was left with serious oh. burns all oh, over his like, torso. Yeah. Wait, also, yeah, the shirt caught on fire. It's kind of messed up. And this public service video shows just how dangerous fireworks can be. They can literally blow your head off. Cheap thrills that could ruin your future in a flash. Just ask Jason Pierre-Paul.